This is the sickest thing I've ever seen. This is the sickest thing I've ever heard of or witnessed. I mean, it's the sickest thing I've ever seen. To have a CPS worker who files a false complaint of neglect against a parent in Ohio who has no custody, but somehow take a five-month-old baby from Kentucky and then place that baby in Ohio foster care for over a year is the sickest thing I've ever witnessed. CPS files neglect against a parent who has no child or custody in Ohio, but take a baby from a parent in Kentucky who has 100% full custody. That's the most insane thing I've ever heard of in my life. And how does that happen in our country? I mean, how does does that happen? I'm in a case that can't be real, but it is. CPS, the judge, the GAL, the prosecutor's office all know I have custody and the child lived with me. I mean, the assistant prosecuting attorney, Jenna Waldo, who represented CPS in the matter, states that I have custody. Jenna Waldo opens up and says, Joe Atkins has custody, but let's proceed with this case like it's real that's against the mother who has no custody that cannot possibly be real and has a child in foster care based on just that lie. Imagine if you were in the situation I'm in, and imagine if you took your custody papers and you showed Brigham Anderson in the prosecutor's office. Imagine that you showed them where you live and they know that you had custody and so does everybody. Everyone knows you had custody and that the case that they're presenting with CPS cannot possibly be real, it cannot have happened, it cannot exist because if you're charging neglect against a parent who's not got the child, it would be no different than charging it against a parent that's not even alive. It cannot be possible. But yet, they still proceed with a case that has a kid in foster care for over a year. They have not allowed me or my family to see my son in over a year and a half, and they're the criminals. It's a crime to make a false complaint. And still, I haven't been allowed to see my son for over a year and a half, and they're the criminals. This is the Ryder Cash Story.